guys welcome back to a step above in today's video we can discuss this beautiful pair of black capital oxfords that i just picked up from ebay these are a vintage pair of allen edmonds we're going to talk about the design of the shoe what we're going to have done because this time we're not having them sent back to the allen edmonds factory for recrafting we're also going to talk about the shoe shine technique that i'll use on these shoes so if these are video you're interested in stay tuned As I'm talking about the shoe, somewhere right here, you'll see a closer version of it pop up. So as you can see, this is a cap-toe Oxford. How is this a cap-toe Oxford? As you can see, there is broguing across the front of the toe, which there's two pieces of leather that are used to make this. And the broguing signifies that this is a separate piece. Also, you can see the stitching, which is another indicator of it being a separate piece of leather to make the cap toe. Now, it's an Oxford because it has a closed lacing system across the throat of the shoe, and there's broguing all throughout the shoe. Now, this is a vintage model, because if you've seen the Allen Edmonds Strand or McAllister, you can see it's perforated leather. So the leather is heightened, and there's broguing done throughout the shoe. The broguing on this Oxford, it's actually in the leather. I don't see a lot of Allen Edmond models now that do that. So this is just an indication that this, again, is a vintage dress shoe. This is a 13C. I usually wear a 13B, but the vintage models, I've noticed they fit a little tighter around the width of my foot. So I went ahead and up the size and I actually got these for a great deal. I wanted something different. I have a pair of plain capital Oxfords and I wanted something that was formal yet a step back from the black capital Oxford. So I went ahead and I found these vintage pair again, broguing. They're still capital Oxfords are still formal because it is an Oxford, but the broguing casualize it down just a little bit now as you can see on the bottom there is some wear it's not too bad there's a little bit of give here in the middle of the shoe and this is just an indication that these have been worn and I will need to get them resold this time like I mentioned in the intro, we're not going to send these back to the Allen Edmonds factory. There's a cobbler here in Denver, and we're actually going to get some JR Rendenbach soles or Johan Rendenbach soles on the bottom. I think these would be a beautiful sole for this shoe, just to give it a little more longevity. Now, I will strip these off with some Saphir Renovator or Reno Matte. Reno mat, not Renovator, but I will use Renovator afterwards. We'll get these shined up. I want to at least wear these a couple times before I send them back to the cobbler just so they can do their thing. This black capital Oxford is actually going to be a part of my winter shoe collection. I'm still putting that together. I wanted to make some changes, so when I get that completed, definitely stay on the lookout for that video. I think you guys would appreciate it. So to summarize, Black capital Oxford, as you can see, the broguing, the two pieces of leather just signifies that the separation of the cap toe of the shoe. Again, it's not a whole cut of one piece of leather. The broguing, just to give it a little more casualness, still a formal shoe. At the same time, you could wear this with a gray blazer, a blue blazer, or any variation of that. We're going to get the soles, Johan Rennenbach soles on the bottom. We're also going to get the Kirby Allison flat wax shoelaces, sovereign grain shoelaces to put in these. And these actually came with shoe trees, the split toe shoe trees, not the full form, but when you put them in splits out just to give it fit, form fit the entire shoe. We're going to take it through the, the process of cleaning it getting these shined up. Again, I want to wear these a couple times before I send them there. 
And when these get back, I guarantee you guys are going to really appreciate the quality of not just a high quality men's dress shoe, but just the leather quality in itself for the longevity. That said, I hope you guys appreciate this video. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section. I greatly appreciate that. And don't hesitate to follow me on my Instagram. I'll leave the tag somewhere, either here or somewhere in the, in the general area. Guys, I appreciate your audience, and I'll catch you next time.